Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome to my Motorsport Manager, Big Al Sports World, create your own team. As you can see today guys, we're at race number two here in Munich and Big Al Sports Team is ready to go. Now he's asking us to select a sponsor for this race, well we're going to go for 11th and above and get a good, cool 300,000 if we can make it to that point. Now as you can see, we ain't going to make any money this race, we're going to lose 2 million pretty much. But this is what happens whenever you have high paid drivers, high paid everything and we've got putting a, a cool highest budget of 1 mil away towards next year's car. Now obviously we've built, we've built our two engines, we're improving them and then hopefully after this race we'll be able to fit them to our cars and have two quality engines ready to rock and roll. We also have already built, I believe, a gearbox and we're in the process of building a second gearbox. Then we'll do the same with them, improve both of them and get them fitted to the car to improve our car throughout this year. So whenever next year's car comes, boom, we'll have a decent quality car already pre-built and then we can just start building and adding and making our team faster and faster and faster. So let's get on into this race. Uh, we ain't going to fit any parts to their cars, they're sticking with the generics. We didn't do too bad in our last race. Let's see if we can go out here and do the same again. 11th and above would be great. Excuse me while I drink my coffee at the same time. I need, need this here to keep me awake. So as normal guys, we're just going to pick our two drivers that we normally drive out with. And we're just going to go straight through. We're not going to touch the car setup. And we're going to simulate the, the practice just to make it a lot faster for our YouTube. And practice is finished, 13th and 16th. Well, that's not exactly in the top 11 where I wanted us to be for our target, but that's not too bad, I guess. At least it's not raining. Excellent, we'll select both of them. It's a good old dry track. So we'll take the medium tires and race trim for both drivers. Let's check out their car setups. Okay, I'll change these guys and then come back to you whenever I'm finished. So guys, I've adjusted both the cars. We're ready for the race. Let me change the driver strategy to all in attack for the first lap, as always. So we've done that, 11th and above we make 300,000 which will keep us under the 2 mil losses because we're putting away so much money. So let's get started. So we are 4th on the grid, which is Guva van der Gomez. I know we won't stay there and I don't know where my other driver is, 11th. Anthony Faith is, or sorry, Faith Anthony is 11th, mm. right on the thing. So here we go, all lights. They're all on, and they are right, and it is wrist time, and we're off. Now, Gomez is down in third. We're with Gomez at present. As Anthony's dropped down from 11th to 13th, Gomez is held out in third. There's a 17-lap race. There is, doesn't look like there's going to be much chance, and Gomez has just flown up in the second. Well, that felt good indeed. It looked good from here, too. And that's what we want. Anthony's back up to 12th now, though. As we stay on board with Gomez. Due to him being up front. And I want to see how he gets on against Pulcini and Beckerman. He's not obviously not going to hold it because there is faster drivers behind him. But if he can hold it out for the first stint of this lap. With Anthony dropping down. He's back up to 11th slash 12th. What I might do is bring Gomez in first. There we go. First lap over... And we will now put him on neutral and on medium. Let that last out a little for a few more laps. And then we'll change Alfie on the low fuel with neutral driving. Because then he'll go an extra lap, Anthony, than Gomez. So we're not queuing them up in the pits because that is our main point. We can't afford to queue them up. But Gomez is still playing nicely. But Anthony, since changing that, has gone down to 13th again. Not what I expected. 
Yeah, apologies from him, but that's not good enough. Five laps left. Or do I make... Gomez is down to third. I knew that would happen. But he's got better tires. If I put him on low fuel, he's let a lacy pass. He's down to fourth now. So he's got four laps left on his tank. If we bring him in in about three laps time. So two laps time, we'll put him all push. And Anthony's now down to 17th. But his tyres are looking awesome. So he'll go in next to the lap. I'm ho well, they're doing pretty similar laps. He, Gomez seems to be better on the old fuel. As Anthony's now down to 16th. Gomez is keeping me on track here for our sponsor objectives. But he has got faster cars all over him. Like Aiken, who won the last race, is all over him. He's got three lap, three just short of four laps left. As we come into lap five, Anthony's retaking Baptista. See, I would like. I think Anthony would be better on the old medium tire. You know, it'll go longer on it, and it means that he only has to stop for fuel one stop. For fuel, and he'll last on his medium tire. And Gomez is going to drop down the pecking order here. He's holding everybody up. So let's put him in overtake mode. See if we can pull away from these guys a little. Our engine's still looking good. Oh, nice. Just dropped all the way down to 6th, 7th. Can he hold it? No. He's still in 7th. Oh, and he's retaking 6th. Aiken will not be impressed at that. It was a massive battle, and Aiken's gone down, pushed him out wide. Gomez fighting back, but Aiken does it, and then, oh, my word. Schumacher does the exact same thing, the exact same maneuver straight after Aiken as he was pushed wide, pushes Gomez wide. So at the end of the next lap, Gomez will be in the pits. Fresh tires, fresh fuel. And he will be out on the track again. Okay, let's conserve his fuel. He can push his tires. Okay, I'll let you put in the fastest lap there. So let's pit him after this lap. Let's fill him up. His parts are looking good. We've already checked that beforehand. We'll put it on a fast pit stop. Boom. Let's get him in. Yes, every, all the parts are fine. I already looked at it. So let's put him back down to neutral. There's no point in risking him anymore. And Anthony's going to do one extra lap. I'm thinking about putting Anthony on medium tires the next lap. Leaving Gomez on the super softs, as always. But I reckon Gomez is going to do three stops anyway. I'm going to see if I can get Anthony to do... Well, he'll do three, I think, as well, because it's what... Yeah, he's, he's on low fuel anyway. That's fine. He's coming into the pits. He's Where is he compared to the pits? Oh, yeah, he'll make it to the pits. Just... Run it on a fine edge with... Um... Gomez. We'll set Anthony up to come in as well. His park condition is looking okay. His suspension's on the way out. And it will be... Yes, I know we won't have enough to finish the race, but then his, next, his last stop will be a fuel stop only, I'm hoping, for Anthony. If we look at... Oh, no, they are going to be doubled up. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought there was a bigger gap between Anthony and uh, Gomez. Apologies to Anthony. But he will go longer now. Mistake on the refuel as well. Not what Anthony needed. But his last stop will be only fuel. Ronnie Justin... Two second mistake. Oh. 
Well, I'll leave him on where he is. Gomez, I'll put back up to high on the engine mode. He'll use a bit more fuel. He's got, I'm pushing him a little bit on his tires. And physic <laughs> And Gomez is being held up by, um, Fukuzumi. <laughs> All the way down here, but there's a massive gap between them. I don't know why he's moaning. He's got six laps of fuel. 17 lap race. Actually, we'll tell him to hold off on his old fuel. I'm trying to think. He's going to come in for one last stop. His tires pretty much can... He can do the tires to the end with another set. But you're only getting seven laps of fuel. So he needs to come in at lap 12. Thir 12, 13. Yeah, okay, so he's got five laps, so, he had, so he's got four laps where he can, before he's due in. So we can keep him out there. Anthony will keep out for an extra lap, but he's only going to do a pit stop for fuel. And then he's going to be all out attack right to the end of this race. And if I fill them both up, I can just make them go full out attack all the way to the end of the race. At the minute, Gomez is keeping me in my uh, sponsor objective, but he has got Bokalaki all over his ass. And Anthony's way, way, way back, way off the pace. He's nowhere even near Norris, but he is on medium tyre, so he's going to last a bit longer. As his tyre usage, as you can see, compared to everyone else here on the left-hand side, is next to nothing. Like, we have Gomez going for it at the minute. I think lap 11 I'll bring Gomez in. No, lap 12. We'll go lap 12. If he loses this position, which he's about to. Oh, well, that was too easy. Far too easy. He needs to be doing better than that. At the end of this next lap, he's going to be going all out attack. Then he's going to pit. I will get Gomez onto good old no I said tires and fill them right up to the end of the race just let him push it push it push it all the way to the end don't care if anything feels just push it all the way to the end and he's down in ninth and he now has carry all oh sorry Gomez was Calderon was the man who took him so he's got carry all over his head back end if he can hold it out Okay, now he's going to go for it. He's coming in at the end of this lap. That gives him six laps left. Fresh set of tyres. We'll fill him right up. There's six laps remaining after the pit stop. Okay. He's got seven laps worth of fuel. His parts are looking okay, so spit front nose and all on the way out. So he's going to come in at the start of lap 12. He's got to push it right the way now to the end. Anthony's up to 17th because there's two people in the pits. Looking like they're getting fresh medium tyres. Now they all changed the medium before we changed Anthony on the medium. And Anthony's tyres are looking really, really, really good. I'm going to make him conserve his tyres a little now. Down in 17th. His tyre heat, he really needs to get heat in his tyres, but he'll get heat after his pit stop. Technically, oh, he's already in the pit. He came in with fifth. Let's get him done. I'm going to be coming around any second. And Gomez is back out in 5th, 14th, as Anthony's now up to 12th. Mistake again on the tyres. That will cost us. That will cost us. Tell him to go low on the fuel, but he can burn his tyres a little for now. That's another mistake. Two mistakes in this race already by our pit crew. Just not good enough. It's time, I think we're going to have to look for a better pit crew after this race. But let's go up to Anthony, because... 
I'm going to get him to pit at the end of this lap. I'm pushing him along now. Or do we make him go another lap? He's got just over two laps left. He's coming around to the start finish. We'll make him pit after this lap. Boom. Right, let's get him in. I need him to put some heat in those tyres. So he can then burn it all the way out. And he needs four laps. Four laps of fuel. So we give him five laps of fuel. Means he can push it towards the end of the lap. Yeah, I don't care if his front suspension goes, to be fair, guys. Let's do a balanced stop. It's for fuel only. The reason why I'm pushing him on his tires at this lap, which is going to eat a lot of his tire tread, but he needs heat in those tires. He's up to fifth. He's flying. He's got... Better, the only person with a better tire tread than him, who's already stopped twice, is Beckerman. You gotta remember, Anthony's only stopped once, and then he'll be back on conserve his tires. How far is he away from the pits? Okay, let's can let's go to medium and neutral. He's put a bit nice little gap. Gomez is back up to twelve. He's just one position outside now. The uh, Uh, he needs to cool down his tires a little. Better watch that one. There we go. Anthony's into the pits. Gomez is coming round, so Gomez will take him. There goes Gomez past Anthony. Boom. He's up to ninth only though, and he's got loads of cars around him. He's down to tenth, eleventh now. Is he no? He still he kept ninth. Okay, so now he can burn the fuel. And he's got enough tire tread, I hope, to make it to the very end of this race. I don't want to really push him just yet. Until he's hit lap 15. Then I'm just going to let him go full at it. Lap 15, they're just go I'm just going to put them both on all out attack. Gomez is about to come across into lap 15. The leader's in the pits. Right, here we go. Go for it, kid. Go for it. Yeah, it's tough. Your parts are looking bad. Oh, his brakes are going, are they? Yeah, his brakes are nearly gone. Oh, well. Are you on lap 15 yet? No, you are not. There's two laps remaining in the race. He's got four laps of fuel. Soon as he comes around that start finish line. Ah, oh, stop it. Let's just do it now. Let's go, kid. All out attack. Two laps left. Gomez is up in eighth. He is currently doing it. He's got excess fuel still. Is he still being challenged or is he starting to put a little gap? Anthony's got a clear run, so he's got plenty of room to start closing up gap. He's got clear air. Gomez has currently got clear air. Yeah, it's okay. You're up to sixth in the in this race, Gomez. Just keep on going, son. Just keep it up. I probably could have took fifth or above, but I didn't want to risk it because I don't think we have a car good enough to get to fifth yet. Once we have the new engines, I think we'll be all right. Gomez's gearbox is now gone. He's got a lap left. His front suspension and his gearbox is gone. We'll drop him down to neutral. On the engine. Yes. There's not much we can do. He's just going to have to try and keep it out. He's got to lose 7. He's got to drop down to 7th here. He's on the final lap as well. And he's just dropped the 7th. It's now going to take him. We could end up outside this projection. Oh, it's on us having Fuck it. Let's just put you back and overtake. Just go for it, kid. Just go for it, Gomez. Don't, if it feels, it feels. Just, you're just got to drive with it. You lose gears, you lose gears. Just keep on going. Knife behind you's also got failures. Can Gomez hold on the eighth? He's battling the game for seventh. Come on, Gomez. Let's get a lacy. Come on, he's not the fastest driver. Oh, he's on low fuel. 
You're in the last lap. Just keep going, kid. Just keep going. Not point nine three. You're ha under half a lap left. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. Come on. Yeah, don't care. Your tires are gone now as well. Oh, Anthony's tires are totally gone, man. He literally has no tires left. Anthony's up to fifteenth, guys. As Gomez is coming around to complete the race. In 8th place, well done Gomez, woo! 8th place, Anthony, unfortunately, he's going to finish in 15th. Not bad, not bad for a little Anthony. But Gomez, what a drive from Gomez. Started further back than Anthony, but ended up way, way in front of him. That's what we wanted to see. Fantastic result here, guys, for us. And what a way to do it. Anthony Gomez, you little legend, you. Have a quick look at the championship and the constructors. I'll scrutineer him first. No rules broken. Didn't think we would. 13 points for Gomez. Oh, someone got a penalty. drive through penalty. Lonardi. And her, so we met our sponsor objective. So that meant we only lost 1.9 mil. And 6 points for Anthony. That'll do us world of good in the Constructors' Championship. So we're up to 12th and 13th now on the good old Drivers' Championship. That's not bad. 17 points each for both our drivers. I, that's good, that's good. So we like to see them racing, but we're up to 7th. Are we down to 7th? Uh, I don't know if we're up or down, to be fair, but we're joint. Technically, we're joint 6th, because we got the same power as so Moto, Moto Park Racing. So that's not bad for Big Al Sports World. I'll accept that. So next race is the British Grand Prix, guys. The British Grand Prix, home race for us. So if you've enjoyed this episode, guys, Smash the thumbs up like button so that people more people can view it. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our other content. We are, we have another series of Motorsport Manager running. And we also have Football Manager. And in the next few months you'll see a whole lot more different games coming to the channel. So if you're enjoying our channel so far, hit that subscribe button. Get your notifications turned on so you don't miss anything. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Motorsport Manager Creative Team. Cheers guys. Have a good one. All the best. Bye.